Hello, everybody. I am just coming on here for a little bit. Um, Tony, the global healer and intuitive readings. I just thought maybe I would do a little bit of a cute filter since there has been somewhat of some kind of weird energies lately. <laughs> but yeah, um, coming on here to do some energy healing and some intuitive readings. Um, also to chit chat a little bit about some things that I don't agree with, that I've been seeing, um, on the internet. I don't know what's going on with the energies of the air, but it's a bit crazy. Um, yeah, so let's see if anybody shows up. Yep. Yeah, so anyways, this is Tony, the Global Healer. Uh, I do a lot of biofield energy healing, uh, bio body scanning, um, intuitive readings, and, and card pulls, too. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I wanted to come on here and chat a little bit about some things that... Uh, you know, I've been just seeing so much garbage lately on the Facebook that it's just really bothering me, you know, and it hurts me to see uh, all these people being false, you know, and all that stuff. I mean, they're just, you know, there's a whole bunch of people following some people you know, that are these mighty teachers and everybody loves their energies. And, and it just really upsets me because I don't want them to get hurt. All those people that are watching them because, you know, it's just crazy. Anyway, so I don't agree with a lot of things that are being said. Um, I don't, you know, you can't just justify things. So, um, you know, if you have a, a drug addiction, you know, maybe you need to step down uh, and not, you know, teach um, all these people that are following you or justify it. You know, I mean, food and drugs is totally two different things, you know, um, and I don't understand why a lot of people are falling for it. It's just really upsetting. Hi, Iris. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to rant a little bit while we're waiting for some people to, um, show up. Um, then I see a couple other mighty people that everybody loves. Um, you know, the thing is, if you're not working with the correct source, you know, um, you could be tricked, you know, um. You know, everybody keeps on talking about Archangel Michael, Archmage Michael this and Raphael this and that. You know, I to, to be honest with you, you know, if you're doing drugs, yeah, that monster is going to show up and it's going to look just like Archangel, you know. But, you know, I really don't believe that the angels are going to support you in any kind of um, drug that's killing yourself. You're, you're rejecting God. We are God, right? So, um, very passionate and, you know, don't like to see people hurt and, um, don't like, like to see a lot of these fake people that are online that are teaching holy of holies, but, uh, but it's okay to justify your own actions. So I don't know. Um. I don't know who's here. Is it Iris still here? I'm just using my little filter because I need some joy. <laughs> uh, false humiliation. What's, what is that called? You know, you could do things in moderation. Moderation. Addictions. I, I think that uh, using meth or any kind of non-natural stuff uh, is not okay. Uh, I mean... Look at you and me. We're all made on, on God's image, you know? It's like, uh, 
you're doing this to God. You hate God if you're doing this drug, you know. Um, you know, natural drugs are okay. You know, there's, you know, they talk about um, cannabis and stuff like that in the Bible. You know, they use it with the anointing oil and all that stuff. Hi, Tracy. I'm just kind of ranting a little bit. Um, waiting for people to come in. I'm just a little upset. I've been seeing so much garbage on Facebook lately with these mighty, mighty people that have huge followings and, um, you know, while they're doing drugs and then twisting everything around um, to justify their habits. And then another person joined to help them justify his habit. And I just, am, I'm surprised, you know? Uh, you need to take a step down and not be teaching all these people because you're gonna hurt, they're gonna be hurt, you know. You need to get things straightened out, you know. Uh, have you guys been seeing any of this craziness on the internet? Exposures and fake and and um, this everybody loves this person's energy. Why? Because this person drinks massive coffee, sugar, massive. Uh, you know, self-indulgement. <laughs> I don't know. You know, uh, I, I, you know, I'm everybody. You know, now they're trying to justify food. You know, you're self-sabotaging. You know, you can't have meat or you can't have this and this and that. They're trying to justify the drug habit. It don't make sense to me. It really don't make sense to me why they're twisting so much to justify meth or anything like that you know, or cocaine or acid or whatever. And, you know, wine is in the Bible. You know, Jesus even drank wine. Buddha, you know, everybody, I, I just don't understand, you know. And I don't know. It's just, it hurts me because I am concerned about all the other people that could be hurt from this individuals. So, um, it's almost like, you know, in the Christian church, you would see people that would, um, they want to die to themselves kind of thing. They would whip themselves. So to whip their flesh. I mean, that's, you know, wow, that's interesting. But yeah, so I mean, I think that in moderation, you know, a glass of wine um, is okay. You know, moderation, eating healthy, you know, but yeah. There's no justifying drugs, period. You know, uh, especially the hardcore ones that are man-made. And um, I'm, anyway, so I'm on here and I'm doing some energy healing. If anybody is interested in that or intuitive readings, um, you know, if you're working with the true source and you're working with the true light, you should not feel bad for eating or eating certain foods. You know what I mean? Or and you wouldn't want to do drugs, okay? So you need to be healed up before you start teaching a mighty, my a lot of people. Uh, you know, maybe it's time for you to step down and get some healing for a little bit, and then come back. Not just come on and try to justify it every day. Twist words. It's crazy. Hi, Anita. I love you, Anita and Iris and Tracy. I hope that you understand. I'm just ranting a little bit and um, waiting for people to come on and whoever is interested in um, energy healing and all that stuff. But yeah, I have been doing this. I was thinking about it. I started when I was seven years old. And I'm like 50 now. And I've been doing this 35 years off and on. You know, I mean, I, I hid from my giftings, so I didn't want to be out in the public or any of that stuff. And I paid a huge price for the gift. You know, it has not been easy, you know. Um, and so, you know, I appreciate the gift, but everything that I had to go through in order to, um, to offer the giftings, you know, so... Uh, but I've been doing it for 35 years or over 30 years. And I'm just like thinking, wow, this is a long time. Um, and But I've just started doing it more so on the internet, I think since 2016, I believe. But 
but yeah and so and other people also to say well why do you charge for your services well this is what i do for a living and i paid a price for this gift also so you know energy exchange um you know you have to pay for water you have to pay for doctors you have to pay for you know tylenol anything like that you're still doing that but anyway um, enough enough on that but yeah I'm just like <clears throat> just a little bit upset with the fact is I'm seeing some really bad things in the last week and it's been I've been trying to pray it through trying to give it to a uh, God oh pay the price oh okay so um uh, I was actually I died I had two near-death experiences and uh I came back and I had to uh, relearn who I am. I had to learn how to walk again. Uh, I had to learn how to speech. I had to go to speech therapy, spell again. I had to uh, learn how to eat. Uh, I don't didn't remember my family. I was in a coma for four months. Uh, came back with a huge amount of different uh, giftings, as in being able to uh, heal, you know, help heal people, and then also music abilities. Um, very sensitive, and it's very hard being extra sensitive sometimes, you know, because I had to like, I couldn't go out anywhere. I go to the restaurant, you know, after I got healed up and everything. But it took me a long time to relearn how to walk and, and talk and learn how to feed myself and clothe myself, you know, from this near near death experience, you know, I went through traumatic experience there. That's what I paid. I paid a price to bring back this, you know, um, disabilities, you know, and I was for a long time after that. So I'd go and uh, try to go out to eat with my husband or be with my children anywhere. It was so hard. I couldn't even sit in a restaurant. I could not uh, sit in a restaurant at all because I would see everybody's blood and their heart and I would feel everything and you know I had to learn this gift too so it took me 17 18 years to understand this gift that I had and um, uh, and I didn't learn from man I didn't learn from nobody it just took me a long time so um, so yeah, so that's what happened with me. It took me a long time to figure it out. And then plus I couldn't go nowhere because I would feel everything. I would see everything. I would smell everything. And it was just really, really hard at that time. So yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically it was hard. So yeah. Yeah, I still, to this day, don't feel like I belong with my family. Um, I don't recognize them still. So it's like, you know, um, yeah, it was interesting, my, my whole experience. And on the other side, you know, it was beautiful. It was very beautiful. I would see um, colors not of this world, you know. I would see different beings, different angels. Um, so... Uh, yeah, well, I was born with giftings, Tracy. I was born at five years, I'm um, five years old it started. And then seven years old is when I started healing animals. Um, my mom noticed some weird things about me. It was strange. Um, and so, yeah, so I already had a gift. But on top of that, I got more. So that's what I'm explaining to you. Yeah, everybody has a gift, but, um, and everybody's a different gift. So, like, there's, uh, you know, many branches on a tree and, and everything has their own giftings. You know, own giftings could be like mentoring or teaching or um, a nutritionist or something. So, yeah, so there's so many different kinds of gifts and people actually don't walk in their gifts. I, ha I help so many people mentor their giftings uh, and, and they're on their path and they're learning their giftings now. So... Yeah, so forgive my, my Buddha dog. So, yeah. So, so, yeah, so on the other side, yeah, I've seen lots of beans. Um, 
I call them holy angels. I don't call them by names like everybody does here. You know, they call like Archangel Michael or Raphael or something like that. I just only call on the holy angels. But there's different angels in different dimensions um, that I've seen. So, and, you know, some of them are actually pretty, um, you know, they're, they look scary to people. Um, some of them are half human, half ox, you know, half animal, um, small wings, big wings, um, different colors, brown, um, like they have some huge, huge, uh, protecting angels. They have glass angels that are see-through that are no sex. They have no faces, some of them. So yeah, so I've seen like lots of different beings on the other side. I've seen, um, a lot of mighty teachers, but at the time, I did not know who they were until later on in life. Um, I've seen um, God as this huge, beautiful energy ball um, with different colors. And it's, and the voice was very stern and deep. Uh, everything over there had frequency and everything had songs. So that's another thing with the gifting I have. I could see people's DNA song inside them. And so when I do healing sessions on them... Uh, then, um, I tune their song. So we only know each other by our song and our light beings, not our bodies over there. Um, I did see some, a lot of children and people waiting to come back to earth with their papers in their hands. Um, I see in beautiful, vibrant grass, trees, everything. And there's different levels. So, uh, yeah, so I've seen a lot and, uh, been writing my book and hopefully I could get it out here soon about my experience when I woke up I wrote everything so yeah so let's see who's here um yeah there's Anita is Anita still here <clears throat> yeah so I did uh but I have a lot that I've seen on the other side. And then for people, um, you know. And for that reason, I went through a lot of um, learning how to do certain things on this side. I don't know about you, but it's getting pretty warm outside. Um it's starting to get like in the 80s, 90s, and it's not even summer yet. But is Anita here? Let's see if Anita's still here. It's just been, um, the energy's also the new moon. Um, this new moon, I think it's been actually affecting a lot of people and like cleaning house. You know, it's like cleaning a lot of people's things, I guess. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Kelly, Kelly, how are you? And where are you located at again, too? All right. I was hoping that Maddie would come on. Maddie's, um, Maddie, come on soon, too. Thank you so much, Kelly. Um, I've been through a lot myself, and I think everybody has, uh, a lot of light workers have also. New Jersey, uh, are you guys starting to get warm? Lots of changes for sure. Lots of changes. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It's been just like a roller coaster, Tracy. It's like, oh my gosh, all this stuff going on and cleaning house. And um, I think it's this new moon into Capricorn and Aries. And I can't remember the other signs, but it seems to be affecting them a lot too. Um, but although Pisces still gets affected because we're all, get, we get all the signs. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, um, we're already having summer like it seems like here. <laughs> Most definitely. 
All right, so usually I just get on here and do, um, you know, the healing works and all that stuff, but um, jibber jabber today. <laughs> it's very, very windy in Arizona and um, dusty, and, I'll, and it's about 80, I think, 80 degrees out. Yesterday was pretty hot. I just can't believe that um, we're already having this warm weather. So, all right. So, I guess, um, Iris, do you want a card? I'll pull some cards for you, Iris. All right. So, is there anybody here that would like to um, have a biofield energy healing um, or um, intuitive reading? I was waiting for Anita. I don't know what happened to Anita. Yes, please. Okay, so let's see what Spirit says for you. Source says for you. And I'm um, just using this cute little um, little face app today. You know, sometimes we want to be different. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Iris, I'm going to... Um, Pull from a couple of decks, okay? All right. Let's see what the angels or source wants to say to you. Uh, I usually don't use a card, but um, I do for um, some people on lives. <clears throat> so, okay, so uh, Iris, how is your headache? Are you having a headache? Is your stomach hurt too? I'm picking up I'm picking up some things as in like you're nauseous and also your head and uh, like your sinuses and your ears are plugged up. All right. So. Okay. All right, because I did send you some energy healing for that earlier. <clears throat> I was up really early. Um, you know, having that cat seems to keep us awake. <laughs> um, she has an appointment, but uh, she's just went into heat. We just got her, and we didn't know that she was going to go into heat yet. So, all right. All right, let's see what Source has for you, Iris. Yeah, I, I was feeling like there was some pressure, like it also in your ears. <clears throat> All right, so I picked like from a uh, three or four different decks. I do have another deck over here that I want to use. So. You are a light worker. Yeah. I'll send you some of that healing. Hi, Chris. How are you? All these cards fell out. Um, again, uh, thank you for joining. If you're new here, let me know. Also, I would like to know where you guys are from. I live in Arizona. Beautiful Arizona. Thank you. Sometimes I just want to feel, you know, goofy sometimes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Iris, let's see what Source has for you. Let's see. All right. All right, so I'm definitely feeling like for you, um, you have something that you need to make a decision for, Iris. So um, it, the time to act upon your plans right now for uh, for it, your creativities, you know, like for business or act upon your plans about moving. Um. 
So I'm definitely getting like there's abundant resources for you also for your giftings and for your capability, your abilities. Um, but I'm also getting like you need to start acting upon your plans for a movement as in you're moving forward to, um, you know, uh, creativity or moving into a new home, new place or moving in with someone. So you need to act and you need to have, you know, you need to decide on that. Um, and there's, there's, and I get like purple around that whole situation. So there's some, uh, royalty within that and peace and favor. Okay. So definitely getting like, there's a lot of, um, spiritual activity with that. And it's pushing you through the virus. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris, so much. Um, and also everything seems to happen for a reason for you, Iris. So like, you know, uh, the storms we go through, things that we're going through in order for us to move forward. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. Um, and also you need to, to release any regrets that you have with anybody around you, a person. Regrets like in yourself also. Um, so embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. You know, you need to start searching uh, and acting upon it. So everything happens for a reason and we don't understand it yet, but, you know, we will. You know, you will. You know, when we go through this storm and it's like a tornado came through and it's removing um, negative things, removing things that no longer serve us. And uh, and then when we, go, when we get moved and we get pushed forward, you know, if you're in a place where you're not supposed to be anymore... Um, and then on the other side, everything starts calming down and you're like, wow, what, you know, everything happens so fast. And this is why I had to do this and this and that, because I can't move forward if I'm just staying in the same place or I can't move, I can't meet mm, a relationship with anybody if I'm in my home all the time, you know, stuff like that. So, and then just, you know, forgive, forgive yourself, forgive uh, people around you and let go. So if you have that too, Iris. Um, okay. So like in relationships in general, like as an intimacy, um, be, you know, carefully weigh things out um, and decisions, you know. So right now, be a little cautious. Take a little time to, um, you know, to decide, you know, make sure it's right, weigh it out, okay? So, and then also a good health. So also weigh it out for, you know, different, I know that you're trying to get healthy too, so that's good. Um, okay, so well, let's see what else you have. <clears throat> IRC is still here. So I just keep on getting like forgiveness for you, um, compassion. Um, so like release any judgments, judgments towards anybody or judgments to yourself. Um, yeah, so we need to release any regrets or judgments, okay? All right. Um, and I also see, too, you got some stagnant energies um, uh, within your meridian areas for relationships in general, too. And also for your, you know, um, self. Does that make sense? So, yeah. So, you have great strength and you need to release any harsh judgments. Forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of others, and have compassion which I know that you do. So you have lots of love and compassion. Hi, um, so Chris is still here too. Okay, I see that. All right, so a lot of abundance, you know, abundance doesn't always mean like finances or anything like that, but lots of abundance as in looking very good for your giftings also and relationships. Um, so have patience and then also in long-term relationships. Yeah. Yeah. So I see some stagnant energy, um, 
<clears throat> I'm picking up somebody that you are just around. Um, it's not just all your stagnant energy. But also there is some there from your thought. So you must have had a relationship or somebody around you. So because I'm really getting that. I also feel like you're also a mentor. You're very uh, like a teacher. So I really feel like you can help a lot of people also. Um, and also healing capabilities. So, um, yeah. So, and I also see like you could be a leader. So getting out of your comfort zone. So you're leading, you're leading people, you're helping people. Okay. <clears throat> and I also feel like too, there's somebody around you that has kind of like deceit, deceit you or deceiving you. So I'm also getting that for you. Um, you need to take action. I keep on getting you need to take action for a move. You need to move forward. You need to uh, remove what's no longer serving you. Okay. So um, I, I just keep on getting the patience with you. Patience. I got two patients for you. So I definitely know that she is a leader. Yes, Chris, because she just needs to get out of her comfort zone and she needs to move forward. Um, she's been where she's at for a while now and it's time to get out there, express yourself, um, show people, help people if you can. Um, that would be a Awesome, because I know that you help people, and I know that you are a healer, and you have a great gift. It's just that these little side things that come up and try to bring you down. Because um, you're very empath. Very empath. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, so another thing, too, is be patient at the same time. So everything will turn out for the best for you even with a relationship. So, um, so I could get rid of that stagnant energy, Iris. I just need you to take a deep breath if you can. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the stagnant energy and then send you some more healing um, for your neck and your pressure and your sinuses, which, you know, we already know what that's from. Um, be it your environment. So, all right, so here I come with you really quick. And also, too, I, I get, like, with the relationships, too, is that you still have this broken heart. So there needs to be a lot of healing for that. Uh, a lot of, you know, the broken heart. And we know what that is. So. So I'm working on your um, sinuses. Uh, are you detoxing also? Because I'm feeling like you've it changed a bit inside your um, body here. Your gut looks like it's getting much better also. All right. So let's see. All right, so I'm just definitely just re removing the cell memory and some stagnant energy. But yeah, I definitely sense um, there's also some cords too, so it's not yours. Um, yeah, like 
Somebody was draining you bits. All right. Okay, great. <clears throat> airplane was pretty low. <laughs> Probably heard it, didn't you? All right. Yeah, I definitely am seeing like it's very, um, your gut's getting better. I see some chemicals that are way better. Um, okay. So yeah, so you're doing pretty good. You just got some emotions in the state and energy here. In the so I removed the cords. All right, let's see. All right, so, and I also did sense um, a little bit of nauseous. So, let me know the pressure of your head, Iris. Okay. All right, so I call upon my queen angels. <clears throat> okay, all right. So do, are you still nauseous now because I feel it? How's your head? Right? <clears throat> well, sometimes people don't know that they're actually doing it too. So, okay. So I totally, I'm seeing too that you're going to move really quick here. Like it's right around the corner. Um, you must take action on this because I know that it's going to be a good thing for you. So, all right. So let's see. All right. So I'm putting some healing into your gut area. And then also your head area. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Take a deep breath and um, move around um, to, re to resolve that. I forgot my lighter. Let me know what you're feeling when you get back from your walk a little bit. Okay, so anybody here that um, has, um, has gave a love offering donations? <clears throat> Let me get my lighter. having like this storm here okay all right you got better <clears throat> we're having like this huge windstorm it just blew everything out in my yard 
<clears throat> okay. Yeah, you feel a lot better, so. All right. So, okay, Anita left. And I actually forgot to share out, so. All right. Um. <clears throat> forgot to share out myself. I need to put it on my group page because I have a group page. <laughs> so I need to, um, I'll share out here in a few minutes. <clears throat> All right. So Okay, Tracy, I see that. Hold on a second. Um, all right, so Tracy, let me get my paper and pen out. Because <clears throat> I get a lot of things when I write it down also. Okay. Let me get my pen, um, and this is for Tracy. Let's see. I always write down my lives, and I always write down. Um, okay. <clears throat> Tracy, Tracy. Let me get um, <clears throat> connected to you, Tracy. Iris, are you you're better now? Love and light to you, and thank you for letting me work on you. Okay, Tracy. Person. Tracy, you're close to me. I think that you said that you were in California, right? Which part of California? All right, so let me get connected to Tracy. Let me get connected. Okay. All right, so Tracy, I do sense like that um, I'm getting from spirit. Is that, is, have you had a loss lately? Looks like we're a little delayed too. All right, Tracy. All right, so I'm getting like a lot of, I'm getting lost in grief, um, and I'm sensing also a relationship uh, is close. There's a lot of close off on relationship also. Um, I also am getting like that you're not able to, you do express yourself, but you're not able to express it the way that you would like to. Sometimes it's almost like you bite your tongue. Lakewood, California? Cool. All right, so it's almost like you hold back a lot. You hold back a lot of punches that I'm getting, but um, it's like the people just are not listening to you or they just don't get it. All right, so I do definitely see like you hold back a lot, um, <clears throat> but you're very, very smart, very intelligent. Um, you are very gifted. Um, I'm really getting my... <clears throat> you are also kind of like a medium too. I'm sensing like you could see people on the other side. Um, you are also very um, like what I, you know, I do with your giftings. So I'm picking up a lot of, uh, I also am getting to like your, you are on a new uh, chapter. So I'm like feeling like you are about to expand. Um, that you're about to take off with something else. Like there's a new, a new gifting that there's something new that's coming. So
So, uh, so I'm definitely like getting like there's a lot of new things coming for you. Uh, spirituality is showing me that your your book is wide open and like you're starting a new chapter. Um, all right. So yeah, so I'm getting like a um, relationship and loss. Um, I'm also picking up a female on the other side too. So, so yeah, she, you're very gifted. I also am seeing like books also. Do you, are you, do you write books? Are you going to start considering writing books? But I'm definitely getting like books for you. You're very strong within your giftings. You've done it for a long time, it feels like to me. Okay. So you're definitely like a psychic and you're definitely intuitive. You're very, um, and then also you, you are, you can see other people on the other side. Okay. Um, at the same time, I do also see uh, some cords um, on your back area too, on your lower back and your solar plex area. Um, and I also am picking up a female that has passed away. It's coming through for you. Um, I'm still not getting everything from her. I need to do a scan. So, um, so literally when I talk about loss or talk about relationships, it doesn't mean like relationships as in general, a husband or a boyfriend, but it's like coworkers, relationships or family or friends that in general. So that's when I say that. And there has been a loss. Did somebody cross over a female? So, so yeah, so I'm not saying that you're in a relationship. I said there's relationship issues and they're very close and it's closed off. <clears throat> Okay, so I just need to clarify that. <laughs> oh, you mean to spiritual realm or your giftings? All right. All right. To another thing too is that I'm getting some, um, getting a little inflammation in the in your back in your neck area also. Um, and then also I'm seeing your knee or somebody around you with knee issues. And if you're around somebody too, I will pick up their energy just so that you know. most definitely need some healing too that's what I'm picking up to all right so I just would like you to um, oh, okay all right so I just need you to take a deep breath through your nose and through your mouth and through your nose and out through your mouth slowly three times and let me in because I know that there is a um, certain kind of blockage there, that protection blockage that you have up. Okay. Because um, I need to do a biofield scan. All right. So I just need you to take a deep breath. And again, if you are in the same household or if you're around somebody connected, I will pick up on their, uh, their elements also. Okay, your boyfriend has knee issues. Okay, uh, lost someone in October, shut down, down. So I'm not sure what that means, but all right, so. All 
All right, so just let me know when you're ready, and I would like to know your pain level from 1 to 10. And your emotion level from 1 to 10. All right, so. And I'm also picking up, too, like, these giftings that you have run into your generations. Uh, I will see like an ancestors also. And I'm also getting like you have these two in your past life. And I also am picking up in your past life that you were a male also. So, all right, just let me know when you are ready. I need to know your pain level from one to 10, your emotional level from one to 10, and then breathe and let me um, be able to do some work. I lost someone in October. Gifts. Okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for you to get back to me, Tracy. I definitely see like also that you travel or you're going to travel. Um, I definitely see like um, a metaphysical store. I'm seeing like you're looking out the window as you're traveling. Um, so I see like the water, the bay or something like that. Um, but I'm really getting like because of your work or because of your gifting. So um, let's see. Hi, Chris. Okay. Zero pain and five emotions. Okay. So I definitely seen a lot of this. Um, okay. So I'm just going to start doing a scan inside and remove some emotional um because if i i keep on getting lost so you said there's no loss but i feel like there's something that happened all right it's with relationships i lost someone october so death was oh okay got it so you lost someone in october and was told death was coming. Okay, wow, that's hard. Okay, wow. Um, let's see, Tracy. I'm seeing like all kinds of crystals around you too, but I'm seeing black. I'm seeing like black magic. I don't know why I'm picking up black magic, but that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like black magic and spells. Um, and I'm just getting like black stones and all that stuff around you. So um, I'm just feeling like black magic. I'm getting that most definitely. So. And I do get that there's some stress and some um, ups and downs with you. So I'm getting that. I'm, I'm getting ups and downs. I do get some depression. So let's see. And I also like feel like there was trauma too, like as in when you're a child. Um, there was some trauma. That's old stagnant energy because I could tell with the energy type. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll get rid of that. And I'll open your... Um... <sighs> oh, 
Okay, so you are basically an observer too. Um, and I know that you kind of keep back from talking at first, but you definitely um, do tell you, tell it how it is, your opinion-wise. So I definitely am getting that. But you hold back sometimes, or you used to hold back. Um, I don't know. Uh, not unless you're using, you know, if you use like black stones and because I'm getting like a red candle, I'm getting like a white candle and I'm seeing like that um, pedogram or I don't know what it's called that. I'm seeing that and then I'm seeing all these black stones. So if it's not yours, then I'm pretty sure that that's around you and somebody did something because I'm feeling rather cold and I'm also feeling cold right here. So like somebody's connected to your brain, your head or watching you or something, but I most definitely am feeling like there is something going on. So not unless that's what you, that's what you do. If you like, you know, if you have your candles, and you do um, anything like that. So, but yeah, so I definitely was getting really, really cold within my forehead area. And I just got that for somebody else in the room. So it was pretty weird that you're getting the same thing that she had. She had like somebody that was connected to her that was watching her. So, you know, that feels like the same thing. Okay, let's see. All right, so yeah, so I definitely getting like highs and lows and then also, um, you know, there's some stress and some ups and downs that I'm picking up with your emotion wise. Another thing too is, um, yeah, so your relationships are very little, um, but you pick who you want to hang out with. So, Okay. All right. So then there's somebody that has it around you because I seem like this negative smoke, this dark smoke around. So yeah, so that definitely needs to be taken off of you. Okay. Let's see. All right. So I'm not either. So it's like, I, I wasn't like thinking that you were into it, but I, it just came up. So another thing too is generational, generational stuff. So let's see. All right. So I'm removing some stagnant energy that I'm finding within the heart meridian. Okay. And I do get a sense of worry sometimes very, um, oh, Frustrated at times. So, yeah, definitely getting frustrated sometimes too with you. Short, don't mess with me kind of thing. <laughs> okay. And I'm getting trauma also. So, there was some stuff that's old. So I'm removing a couple cords. Okay. All right. Did you have you been feeling like really tight behind behind your shoulders? Seems like there was a pretty big cord back there solar plex area in your back. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so I'm picking up all kinds of stuff. So yeah, most definitely, um, 
you got all these different spirits around you. <laughs> I see a whole bunch of spirits like waiting for you. Like um, you're definitely a seer and a medium. So yeah, you got a whole host around you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I'm also getting like spiritual vampires. I just seen a, that. That was not a pretty picture. All right. And don't you, I just do not like that, you know, when you're a gifted person and then somebody comes around and does that. So, okay, Tracy. All right, so I'm removing um, that that I seen in your solar plex area too. All right, so I definitely feeling like you're floating. You're not like set in one place. So this means that you're either traveling or you're going to be moving soon or you're looking to move because I don't feel like you're balanced in that area where you're supposed to be. Uh, also, another thing too is finances seem to have been a bit tight. So like I'm getting also, we need to do the financial um so I'm removing the stagnant energy from that area also from the finances and also something to do with the relationships with people in general. Okay. Um, let's see. So, yeah. So I do definitely see like there is a lot of financial thing blessings coming for you more so. Um, all right. Because of this new thing that you're adding um, and that you're going to be busy 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 okay definitely see that okay so I'm completely opening all that up All right, so um, I removed some of the stagnant energy from stress, frustrations, some old trauma that I seen. Um, definitely remove the cord behind your um, solar plex. And opened you completely up. Okay. All right, let's see. Your family is always around you. Okay. All right, so take a deep breath, please, stay, um, Tracy. And can you get up and walk around also? Take a drink of water and let me know how you're feeling. Um, if you feel like there's been a weight lifted from you. Um, definitely remove some uh, emotional and some trauma and some old stagnant energy. Okay. All right. <laughs> I froze. I froze. Yeah, so I definitely see like there's a lot of good changes coming for you with the finances, most definitely, so. All 
It seems like they're always like changing Facebook. Like they're always changing Facebook. <laughs> All right, just let me know how you're feeling. I just moved my camera, so. All right, and also please do let me know if you've given um, a love offering because I'm doing paid readings and paid um, energy. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to know what you're feeling uh, emotionally wise. What is this? This is energy healing biofields, um, biofield multi dimensional um, energy healing. And also, this is bio body scan for intuitive readings, removing cords, and balancing, and all that good stuff, Magella. And it's um, paid readings. Okay. And I'm waiting for Tracy to get back and let me know how she's feeling. All right. Chris, you've been in here before, haven't you? You look familiar. Yeah, not changing. It seems like um, when once you get used to the Facebook, then okay. All right, so Tracy, um, if you. <laughs> Um, that's what I'm trained in. It's natural giftings, Magella. Natural giftings as in healing. Um, healing modalities. I use biofield energy healing. Okay. Yeah. So if you're on my page, you'll know who I am and you read my bio and then you'll understand Magella. Okay. <clears throat> I've been doing this for over 30 years, so... And it's no labels or systems. It's just what I was uh, gifted with. A lot of people have gifts, and I have gifts that are different. Okay. So I do a scan on you, and I see colors, and I see energy, stagnant energies. I see your past life, who you were. I see cords, um, generational curses. The list goes on. So it's, there's no labels to what I do. I just do what I do because I know how to do it um, with spirit. If that makes sense. So Tracy, thank you so much. And it was nice to meet you. And I'm looking forward to hearing um, about your new adventure, your new move that's coming. Um, finances that are going to be definitely blessing. Um, definitely. I see a lot of blessings, but I also see a lot of change with you. Um, but again, you are a very gifted soul too. And you do have Things that try to hook themselves to you as in, you know, every into it, you know, every person that's gifted and doing what you do. And that's typical, right? So, um, you, and um, you just need to go to people and have that removed. But, but most definitely, I see a good change coming um, and you're going to be doing a lot. So I'm looking forward to your a new adventure. Just keep me in and tuned with it because it's going to be right here around the corner. I removed a lot of stagnant energies and uh, trauma and all that stuff. So hopefully you feel a lot better. Okay. All right. Yeah, Chris, I, I, sometimes I just get lost into my readings and stuff and then I forget who was in the, in here before. So yeah. <laughs> Um, all right. All right. So please do let me know if you've given into, um, for energy healing or reading. 
And Tracy, love and light to you, girl. You have so much going for you, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I had to look at your picture. I was like, oh, I think she looks familiar. Yes, most definitely. So. Yeah, I'm excited for you too. But I see a next chapter that you're starting, a new thing, a new beginning. So there is something um, that's coming that you're going to be creative in. Like maybe um, you're going to make these boxes, you know, um, I mean, I was getting like essential oils and like um, boxes that you're making up with crystals in it that you're sending out also. So I definitely see like you're going to put up a package deal for your gifting. So, yeah, most definitely. Um... All right. So who is here? Love and light to you guys, and thank you for coming. Tony the Global Healer here. Um, I have uh, been doing natural, remote, and also in-person healing. I had a healing spa in Alaska, um, and, and I see a lot of people. So I have quite a huge, a lot, I should say, amount of people that I have testimonies from from all over the world that I've helped. Um, also help somebody with um, that just walked out of a wheelchair that has been in a wheelchair for a very long time. So I'm happy to assist and help people in that way. Uh, my private sessions are more powerful as it's one-on-one -on -one and we do live sessions. So if you're interested in that, I have a special for that um, right now. So, all right. I might have to use the restroom here really quick. <laughs> but yeah, so just let me know if you are in here and you're doing a paid, so. Okay. And thank you again to um, Tracy. I thought that music would change, but I guess it's on non-change or something like that. So. Oh, where's my page? There it is. All right, so who's on here who would like to have energy healing? Um... I don't see me on the screen. Energy healing or some cards. All right. All right, so I'm going to um, use the restroom, so. Well, let's see who comes on. It's a bit slow. I forgot to share out to my group page also and my other Mystic Wind page. But um, Mystic Wind, I have 5,000 people on and I keep on forgetting to share it. When the ladies room calls, it calls. <laughs> All right. Let me sit here. All right. <laughs> um, 
my ears are all crooked. That's pretty crazy. Um, you know what the thing is? It's like this app actually works with my cat. It's seen its face. It's really strange. But, all right. <clears throat> all right, so who is here that would like to have some work done? Healing energy, biofield, healing modalities. All right. Um, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, this new moon is a bit um, crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's still, and I, I I don't know if we're even out of retrograde. I mean, I, it says that we're supposed to be out of retrograde, but we're still feeling the retrograde. So, yeah. All right. Hello, love and light to you guys. Please um, do let me know who is here. Again, I was like ranting earlier because of, you know, things that I was seeing. Um, <sighs> yeah. I just really don't, I think everything in moderation. I think, you know, if you want to eat meat, then eat meat, you know. I mean, if you're going to drink some wine, that's fine. But, again, I think that if you're going to do hardcore man-made drugs then that's a little bit different to, in my eyes but yeah all right so ooh, divine guidance number five and that means change a lot of people are in change right now too so um ooh, the search for meaning in this life um consider in Alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. So whoever feels like that is for them, then um, I just pulled a card because I'm waiting for somebody to come into the room. Please do um, subscribe to my page and follow me. Um, also, like and subscribe to my YouTube if you can find my YouTube. <clears throat> All right, so the search for meaning in life. Whoever is searching for meaning in their life. I'm also, oh my God, I'm so happy. I got to go see my grandson. This is my ninth grandchild. And my grandson was just born and I just will really, really would like to go s visit and see him. He's like two hours away. So I'm really, really excited to go and see. We have three grandsons and six granddaughters. I have three boys that are in their 30s. And so, you know, God definitely gave me um, granddaughters because I didn't have no girls. So, but I'm truly, truly blessed on... Um, the ninth grandson. So we have three grandsons now. Um, but it's kind of hard when, you know, you live so far away. You know, my kids um, live in Alaska and live in Arizona. And then, you know, they're, they're so far apart from each other. So um, I have two that live in Alaska, one that lives in my old house. Um, raising my grandbabies and then another one that's in um, Anchorage that had a house built and then I have one in Arizona that's two hours away and of course my grandchildren are in Alaska mostly most of them are and I have two here in Arizona so yeah he is such a cutie patootie and so is my other son's Son, he is beautiful. Hi, James. How are you? How are you today, James? <clears throat> Positive vibes out to you all. Positive back to you, too. Love and light to you, James. <clears throat>
How is James today? Just kind of like waiting for people to come. It's been um, kind of slow. I might just need to come back. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, this one person that I see that's a reader on um, Facebook, he's freaking hilarious. I, Brandon Roberts, he is so funny. He is an entertainer, um, reader, <laughs> well known. So he's pretty funny. I, I love to go and um, watch him sometimes because he's different on everything. You know, um, but yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty funny. I don't know if you guys have heard, heard of him, so. <laughs> okay, so I didn't go to, my, yeah. Oh, you're just sitting at work. You do construction, office work, James? <laughs> You should be almost done from work, or do you work nights? James. All right. So I needed to post um, on my page, my group. I forgot to post my, on my group, but by the time I do that, anyways, I'll be uh, getting off here and then coming back on on my other page. What time is it there, James, where you are? Are you in um, Arizona or are you somewhere else? Should be almost done from work, you would think. <coughs> so you do office work construction? Because that's what I'm feeling. I don't know if that's what you do, but um, yeah. Come and join me. <laughs> um, two to ten PM. Wow. That's well, I mean you get to sleep in though at least, but <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, when I was a manager, I was managing 24-7, so um, I never really had a life because we had to like be, t be on site 24-7. Oh, okay, so it's 6.30, it's 4.30 here in Arizona. Office manager, yeah, that's what I was picking up. I felt like you were an office manager's desk job. Yeah, so that's what I was doing. I was managing um, condos, resorts, and uh, storage facilities for a long time. But when you do that kind of work, you're like working 24-7 all the time. And it's pretty hard, so... All right. So James, um, I haven't seen you on for a long time. So I think that you've been on my page before. I don't know. Um. Is it warming up there also, James? Um, it's getting really warm here. I was hoping to have a cooler summer, but it doesn't look like it's going to be, so. Do 
Chip it. All right, so I'm taking like love offerings for energy healing and also readings. And um, I am having a special for privates. So if you would like to have one-on-one -on -one live with me, um, I'm doing 15 minutes for 28 or 30 minutes for 58 or an hour for 120. All right, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I do a lot of energy healing, multi-dimensional biofields. Um, people don't understand what that is. So um, that's just what I do. That's my gifting. Uh, I could go inside you and see what's going on. And then I heal Do a lot of different healing. So. Yeah. So I'm using my cell phone. And usually I use my computer. But um, the computer seems like. Oh my god, it's 70 there. Yeah, it's about 80s today, I think. Maybe I should look it up, but I don't know. I mean, jeez. It's been pretty freaking warm. <laughs> I wasn't looking forward to it, so. Um, let's see. Oh, another thing, too, is we've been having is, um, a lot of wind, so we're having, like, dust storms, you know? And so I can literally taste it. And, like, my nose has been bothering me and my eyes. So um, it must be uh, allergies, too. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so James, um, seventy degrees, and you live by the water too, don't you? Oh, okay. Thank you so much, James. Yeah, so, I mean, when you get off work or something like that, maybe, um, maybe we could do a private session if you, if you would like that after you get off work or something. Um, it's still going to be early for me here, so, because I'm like, you're 6.30 and I'm 4.30, so two hours. My goodness, my granddaughter, she's on um, Facebook wishing happy birthday to <clears throat> one of the girls. How cute. <laughs> I'm looking at um, my grandbabies, my granddaughter. She's wishing happy birthday. <laughs> All right, so who's here who would like to have reading or healing? Everybody's not on right now, so I must need to try to go on a little bit later. I think everybody's picking up their children or they're picking up food or going grocery shopping or something like that. So I must have came on at a, not a good time. Um, so yeah, so anyways, I'll give it a few and see what happens. 
You have five grandkids. What um, what are your grandkids' ages, James? Mine's like um, I got a four, a fifteen-year-old granddaughter and a twelve-year-old granddaughter, eleven-year-old granddaughter. Um, I think nine, nine-year-olds, all the way down to newborn. So wow, yeah, I got nine. I have six granddaughters and three grandsons. Um, one that was just born a couple weeks ago and one that's two years old. The other one is three years old. So yeah, oh my gosh, it goes from um, two weeks ago all the way up to 15 years old. And that she's a beautiful granddaughter. Five, seven, eight, 19, and 22. So yeah, so we're on the same boat. Um, my kids, my son is 34, my oldest one and my youngest one's 30. So yeah, they, they made me grandma pretty, pretty young. I'm 50. So, um, must be that Alaska, the Alaska bears want to cuddle all the time, <laughs> but now I don't have kids. Um, so it's like, what did I do with myself? You know? without having the kids room. And then um, all my kids are, well, two of my boys are in Alaska, so they don't really get to see them all the time. Um, and my my uh, youngest one lives two hours away from me in Arizona. 55, yep. We are into the glory age. <laughs> Most definitely the glory age, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, let's see. <clears throat> All right, so it doesn't look like there's anybody coming on, so I'm probably going to sign out and then come back on here um, in a couple of hours, maybe. So, except James is here, but um, there's nobody else. I need to go in. Yeah. Yeah, work on some things and then also see if people want a private session. So I will try to go back on here in a little bit. Um, Okay, all right, love and light to you, and I'm going to sign out too, so I'll talk to you later. Have a good evening. All right, so um, this is Tony, the Global Healer. I will be back on later. All right, so love and light to you. <laughs>